Okay, once you've accepted all of your classes, it will appear like this, or you can click over here on them individually. You need to generate your Google Meets link. So if you click on a class, this is what it'll say. Meeting link, generate the link. You need to click on that. You want to generate the Meet link. Now, this is not the actual meeting. It's a hyperlink to the meeting link. So if people copy and paste this in their browser, it's not going to take them to the meeting. Um, they just want to click on this. So if you want to make it visible to students, leave it on. If you want to keep it not visible right now to students, turn this off. Click Save. And you'll notice that it's appearing right here. So this will take me to the hyperlink for the meeting. Um, if you want to turn this from not visible to visible, you come up here in the upper right hand corner. And when you scroll down, you can see the meeting um, link information. So you can make it visible to students right here and save if that's what you want. Um, or if that's not what you want, you can leave it turned off. And then um, you'd have to do this for each individual class. So if I go to, let's say, this class here, you can see there's no meeting link generated. So I need to repeat that process on each of the classes. When you generate the meeting link, one of the really thing, one of the things that's really helpful is this Learn More tab takes you to all this information about um, Google Meets and all the updates. So, for example, people outside of your school's domain can't request to join a video meeting. Um, you know, anonymous users. It's all this information I'm going to also put in a separate video. I'm going to be going over it so that you know how to do things like kick someone out of a class, mute and unmute, um, allow them to talk in the chat versus not. So that's all coming in the next video.